This is our guest this week on the wild side, the African warthog. So come, take a walk on the wild side of the African warthog. everyone, welcome to another episode of The Wild Side, and I have got a very, very interesting special guest for you. Come down here, take a look at this. This is an African warthog, a male African warthog. And the way you can tell they're males is they have, well, more than a few warts on their face. In fact, you see those little big bumps on their head? Those are their warts. Female warthogs have two bumps per head, and uh, males have four. Now, these two warthogs were uh, born at an AZA facility in the Midwest, but now they live in San Antonio, Texas at Zoo Imagination, which is a local rescue rehabilitation uh, facility that also educates the public about fantastic exotic wildlife. We have Bruce, we also have his brother, Gibbs. Now take a look at their wonderful legs. Look at these legs. Look down here, can you see me? <laughs> these legs are the longest legs per swine on the planet, for any swine on the planet. Warthogs have these very, very long legs that help them get through the savanna and run 30 to 35 miles an hour. Now, warthog's biggest predators would be lions, leopards, and cheetahs. So to avoid these animals, they will uh, burrow underground. They'll use their big, thick hides to protect themselves. They'll use those shovel-shaped heads to dig a burrow. And it's mom's job to protect the piglets. It's the male's job to kind of go around the savanna and make other little baby warthogs. Look at how he's down on his legs, you see that? They get nice and low and graze along the grasslands. Now they have these really super long legs to help see over the grass, but also pivot over here to their head. Look at their eyes. Look how their eyes sit nice and high up. So they can be, they are able to see above the savanna grass very easily. Warthogs also have very thick hides. Look at this skin. A nice thick hide right here, which helps protect against their biggest predators. Can you see this hair right here? Now the hair of a warthog actually is extremely useful. Number one, it doesn't let them get clogged down in the mud, which they wallow in and they burrow in. It also is a nice way to camouflage in the very, very tall grass of the African savanna. Again, these animals can run 30 to 35 miles an hour. And when they have little piglets, the piglets, well, they follow mom's tail. This little tail right back here. Mom, as she runs, will keep that tail high in the air like a flag, saying, hey babies, follow me. Follow me to safety. And she's able to keep them safe from, again, their big predators. Because a baby warthog, a piglet warthog, is basically the chicken nugget of the African savanna. Now, at full grown, these big guys right here, can weigh up to 200 to 250 pounds. They're the largest pig to inhabit the continent of Africa. Look at this big shovel-shaped head and these massive tusks. They use these tusks as their main defense against lions, leopards, and cheetahs. This big head not only is used to move earth and help create their burrows, but also flip predators straight into the air. Look at these amazing animals. Plus, those warts we talked about earlier. Although the African warthog is not an endangered species, their habitat is in great decline. The vast plains of Africa are whittled down to very few national parks where these animals have space to maintain their natural lifestyle. Also, these creatures are imported from Africa. And here in Texas, near Dilly, Texas, a wild population of warthogs currently lives. They actually were brought in by big game hunting ranches but dug out because these animals are incredibly, incredible diggers. And they're able to run all over the great state of Texas now as an invasive species, which is not good for our local ecosystem. So be responsible and help wildlife, not only in your backyard, but in the backyards of different places around the world. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of The Wild Side, where we learned all about the African warthog. If you liked this episode or the other episodes we've done, click subscribe right here on YouTube. And if you have a question about any of the animals you've seen in our episodes, drop me a comment. I answer every question about the animals that I can. 
Also, go to www.zoomagination.com to learn more about Zoom Imagination and the animals they care for on a daily basis. Find ways that you can help this amazing nonprofit organization. As always, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Stay wild, conservation rules, and we'll see you next week when we take a walk on the wild side of one of your favorite species. Until then, I'm gonna go dig a burrow with some warthogs. Come on, boys, let's go.